Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here in the Expedition Part 2. As you know, in the last one, we haven't quite left our planet yet. But, uh, you know, or even the first system, I should say. But here we are. We're in our extreme radiation area. So before we get moving here, let's just get in the ship for a second. Now, I did move my ship since the last episode, but that's pretty much all I've done. I just moved to a different spot. Um... So we need to do a few things. We need chromatic metal, of course. So we need to get some items. We're looking for activated copper. That's your next step in this evolution of things. We want to get activated copper and look for some more of these save points that you can see in front of me here in the middle of this base camp. Now, we're also going to be doing some other things here since we're near water. <clears throat> we're going to see if we can't get a couple of things done, done at the same time. I apologize, I'm trying to do this first thing in the morning when my voice isn't quite as uh, used to being uh, used, I should, I should, I should say, uh, this part of the day. But anyway, moving along. Let's go ahead and exit the ship. Remember, you're in a high radiation planet, so get things done. Look for stuff still while you're here, because you never know when you're going to find a nice piece of... That's not what we're looking for, but that's okay. You don't really need this. Get rid of it. We need microprocessors, so hopefully you'll get some as we go. I'm going to put this in here. You see we have enough ferrite now, so after this is done, we're not going to need them anymore. So let's keep going. Let's make sure we get our save and chart. There we go. Sector saved. That's a third drop point now. Check the animals real quick while you have good weather. Make sure there's nothing around you need to scan. There's no plants, no, not many plants, I should say, above ground that you can get. But there are some in the water. So let's hit the water real quick and then we're going to look for some activated copper. Scan plants. Scan underwater animals. Now the radiation underwater is just as bad. Okay? Radiation underwater is just as bad, if not worse. You see your critical exposure is going down. You also don't have anything to save you from the water that's here, uh, from getting oxygen, I should say. So make sure you replenish oxygen with these plants. What you're looking for is those right over there. Crystal sulfide. If you can, try to stay at the top of the water for now. Make sure you keep everything charged. Use your batteries if you like. And go after the crystal sulfides. You need 12 of those to achieve one of your one of your uh, uh, expedition milestones. Let me just see which one that was at. Let me see here. Plants. It's over here. Hold on. There it is. 12 crystal sulfides, part of phase four. But we can do it in phase one. So just go ahead and get it done. It's not the best planet in the world, let me tell you. But you're here. Just get away from these things while you can. Get all three. Move on. Move on. If you're short on gold, grab yourself some of these uh, these pearls from this guy. Now, you have two ways you can do it. You can either shoot the armored clam and get them, or you can go into a first-person view and just grab one. Doesn't hurt. See? And then go back to your third-person view. All right. You're also going to need 100 salt. Get them from these cylinder-shaped rocks down below. Don't worry about there being a secondary item. There isn't. You need 100. The little jellyfish don't like you doing that. I got 88 salt out of that one, so we need 12 more. There we go. And... That should get it. So we have all the salt we need now. 100 salt, now you have it. Looks like we got some crystal sulfide over here and over there. So let's go ahead and grab it. Pay attention to the lady. She has your best interests in heart, even if she is annoying and nagging. Like your mother. That's three more. There's three more. 
all I need is three more after this, and I'm all done. My suspicion is, and look, three right in front of me. My suspicion is when we do the redux of this, they're going to reduce this to six. Now, as far as the incoming storm is concerned, it will increase the damage, the amount of radiation you're getting. There we go, got all six. And you can grab those things too if you want to get some extra money, but we're not going to need it. You can grab... Pardon me, the storm is going to make things a little more difficult for you. But I want to warn you in advance that the wind, the tornadoes that come through, will pull you out of the depths of the water. So keep that in mind. You have two ways to combat it. I should be able to make it to my ship in time. Excuse you. <laughs> Almost made it. See, now the windstorm is going to kick up and it's going to cause us problems. So we're going to stay here for just a couple moments while we check our inventory. So as we take a look, we have the pearl. So if we take that, we pull our ferrite dust, and put it in here, you can get a decent amount of gold for the pearl. And you're just going to need just about 100 or 200 gold and that's all you need. It's really quick. So, that's all. Now, is there anything else we need here? So we got our salt, we're going to need that. We have our crystal sulfides. We're going to need only five of them, but just hang on to them for now. So our next goal here is to get activated copper. That's the big thing. And to find maybe a couple more places that we can drop in on. So, and we'll need the, the chromatic metal to make more microprocessors. That's one of the biggest things we need it for right now. So we're going to go ahead and continue on from here. I am going to launch, scan, look for another place to stop. Once again, it's going to give me a hard time finding places to. Because I'm playing right now with you. <laughs> Let's move over to this landmass over here. And then we'll do another scan. I think I'm over water. Hard to tell, right? That looks like a large expanse of water. Maybe if I take it down a little bit, we can see better. There we go. All right. Really hard to fly around in this muck. Keep that in mind. Okay, looks like we might have a building. Ah, drop pod. Up to you if you want to go for the drop pod or not. But at the very least, we have a save point that we can take real quick. So this will be number four. Ah, so I guess we're going to have to throw ourselves into a tornado. Let me show you what happens. Here we go. Ready for the ride? I could die here, just so you know. I'm not wa walking anymore. And there you go. Just like any other tornado, we'll pull you up into a... Just keep your jetpack charged as much as you can. And you could spend a good amount of time up here because that's a worm going past, I think. I have no idea what that was, actually, now that I think about it. Could have been an animal. Now, you can try to escape this if you wish. And it will hurt you when you hit the ground. Now, where is your ship in relation? It is a good question. Over there. See, there's a windstorm there. Windstorm up there. And now you understand the dangers of just being out. That's nonsense. It 
So for now, we're just gonna head for our ship and hang out there. Just for a moment while it fixes that. Okay, so that was fun, right? So, you know, my life support's down to 25%. Remember, this gives you four to get a time. So, use it judiciously if you can. Okay, let's take a look. I think the windstorms are completely gone. This gives us an opportunity to look for that activated copper. And it looks like there's a creature underground. I can take a look at it too if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take it by foot. No, I'm not going to take it by foot. Because of the bad storms on this planet, I would recommend strongly that you take your ship. If they're far away. If they're not more than about 200, then, you know, go ahead and go to it. But Otherwise, take your ship. Launch fuel is not too expensive if you get your ship to move, anyway. And it gives you an opportunity to scout out the area. That's not a very good deposit at all. So let's go someplace else. Let's go find somewhere else we can find something. I can get my ship under control. There's a spot over there. Let's come in over here and have a landing near that. Except we're going to land right over here on this shore. And it looks like I've got a activated copper spot right next to me. Could be uranium. It is uranium. Okay, we're going to take the uranium. I'm going to take it in larger chunks because you don't need a ton of it. But you could use a good amount of it. You get yourselves about, about 100 of it or so. It should get you through the entire expedition. Good for your ship. Your ship likes to eat it. Uses it for fuel. There we go. That should be good. Get myself out of the hole. And look for... More. Magnetized ferrite. We've got activated copper 324. Let's go ahead and grab that. And I'm actually going to run towards that one. Oh, what is this? Uranium as well. Okay. Feel free to grab some resources while you go. Scan for more animals. The terrain here is pain in the neck. These little nodules that are on the ground will trip you up, see? They get in your way quite often while you're running. So, getting your steps in can work, but I would advise that you have something ready. Okay, for this we're going to need as much as we can get. I would suggest pulling your ship in and having it nearby. If you can get yourself about five, six hundred of this, it'll be really, really good. And yes, you're staying for the whole thing. I'm not going to go to one side or the other here. So we got about a hundred so far before that popped in. So on the smallest setting of your terrain manipulator, a very good way to go to get all this. I expect we're going to have a few more milestones knocked out before we even leave this system. You know it's been over about an hour now, so I'm not doing this as a speedrun. Most people, as far as speedruns are concerned, will be out of this system in about 40-45 minutes. It might even be sooner as time goes by. Will they have it done under an hour? I don't know. I think that'll be pushing it, but that's just me. Let's keep going. This is a very deep deposit. That's very good. You're going to get a lot out of this. And while we're at it, let's check. We're at 331 now. Okay. So I'm going to get a couple hundred more before the storm kicks back in. But you know it's going to be coming soon. I know we're over 400 now. So 
see where we're at. We're at 500 now. Excellent. This, this was a very good deposit. This is what we needed. The other one that we found was not very good at all. It wasn't going to provide us anything what we needed. We probably would have got about 100 or 200 out of it tops. Alright, I think... How we doing? 575. We just get over here to get the other angle. While I fall down this hole. That'll get us 600. We're close enough that I don't have to worry now. Check. Yep, we're at 600. Excellent. We're good here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our exosuit, and it's time to us for us to refine this. I'm going to break this down just a little bit and get that started. So I'm going to keep some of the, the activated copper in case I need it later. Uranium goes in our ship. Good, 180. That'll get us a charge for that. What do you use uranium for? You use it for launch fuel. Since we're out of launch fuel, that's perfect. It's exactly what we needed. Our next item on our list <laughs> is to wait for some of this to get done. I believe it takes 40 chromatic metal to make one microprocessor, if I remember correctly. So that would be 200 that we need of this. And we had about 25 to begin with, so that should be enough for now while we wait for the rest. I didn't tell it to stop. Oh, I, I just ended up out of fuel. <laughs> there we go. So, while we're waiting on that, let's go ahead and get our 5, which uses up carbon, so keep that, keeping that in mind. And then our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We now have our 5 microprocessors. And it already had chromatic metal in it, so this is now ready. Now, we've only got a little bit of a boost out of it of 195, so it's not really far that we can go with it. But, and you got your three um, warp cells <clears throat> by uh, completing one of your milestones. So let's take a look at our milestones real quick now. So one is nearly complete. We got to warp to a new system. Two has got only just the one done. We need to attempt to raise the signal, go beyond, get some more feet running around. Uh... We'll do this probably on our next rendezvous, at first rendezvous. Let's go over here. Lower the deep. Let's go ahead and collect that. That's under underwater construction plans and marine shelter. It really actually, you don't need any of that, so you don't have to claim it for now. It's up to you. Uh, we need to get more nanites. We have five ancient ruins. I just want to see if there's something else we can do here. Oh, right. We can find ourselves a broken down ship, right? Where is that at? Yep, crash ship. We can do that while we're here. So let's do that one more thing and get a, get ourselves a crash ship. Now that you've received something in your inventory on your exosuit here, um, and it's this, your signal booster, which is going to be used slightly different here. Anytime you choose a particular uh, milestone that you want to complete, put this down and see if it'll give you a location for it. It doesn't here yet. Let me just try something real quick because I don't think we selected it. There we go. And then go into it. All right. It's here. See? 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 Scamper damage ships. It uses something called a surge battery, which is in your starship inventory over here. Grab. Make a couple more of those just in case you need them. And we got a storm coming in, but that's okay. So there's our crash ship. And we're going to go get that. Okay. Let's go. Now, I know we've only gotten three of the save points, or waypoints, if you will. That's okay. We'll come back. You'll get them at other places. You have a lot of stepping around to do, a lot of walking around to do. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go over to this distress beacon and get this out of the way. Now, if you don't feel like doing this now, that is perfectly fine. You will. Your fifth rendezvous has a crashed ship at it, as long as you are not in multiplayer. You will find a crash ship there, and you can restore that one and complete it. My suggestion is you do this one, because that planet is an aggressive sentinel planet, and the time it takes to get that going can sometimes attract the sentinels. 
And if you don't feel like having a sentinel battle or having to run away on that huge mountainous terrain, that is completely up to you. Okay, I can't see a thing, so we're going to just... We're flying blind here. Should be a hauler, I think. Yeah. Okay, so what do we need to restore this ship? We're going to find out in just a moment. Don't worry about going for any of the other stuff around it for now. Unless it has some of these little red canisters, go ahead and grab them. But you're not going to need much. I don't need the rusted metal anymore. Yeah, relic. Yep. So just get inside this ship, compare it, claim it, and get inside it. Just for now. You know it needs repair. So you need a hermetic seal and metal plating, which you should have the resources to make. There we go, metal plate. And hermetic seal. And then the other things you're going to need are the 50 magnetized ferrite. And remember the 90 deuterium I told you to make? There you go. Occasionally you'll find one with this as repaired, but not always. So let's go ahead and repair it. That was the reason for the rest of the magnetized ferrite. And that's all you have to repair on this ship. And if you want to, there's things on the ship sometimes you can take. Like, I don't know what that is. Um, like this shield. Go ahead and grab it. And put it in your own inventory. That way you've got it. Exit the ship. Go back to your other ship. And you're really ready to go. Now, while you're here, if you want, go ahead and install your shield. Like that. Gives you a little more extra shield. Not that you're really going to need it, but it's good to have it. Okay, so that should complete that. So if we go in here and collect this reward, we're getting some nice upgrades. And the upgrades, if you get them here, gives you hyperdrive upgrades, as well as launch thruster upgrades, which help you out. So that is the main reason for doing so. So let's put these in here and check them out and see what we get. Um, so this one gives us 178 light years, and this one 214. And you see my hyperdrive range just went up to 636. So I strongly suggest doing so. Anyway, moving on, let's get our thruster stuff put in here. Line them all up, because that's where they're needed. That's why we got the extra slots in here. We still do have one more uh, Starship launch fuel that we'll use later on as well. And save your cadmium. You're going to need it. Okay, let's move on from this system. I think we're pretty much all done here. We discovered a whole bunch of animals. Let's see, real quick. We just have to warp to a new system. Um, we got six eggs on our first planet. We've walked about 3,500 steps. We're going to get more steps in as we go. You'll get about a thousand or so in when you check out a derelict freighter, but we'll get there later. Uh, we've only discovered three plants thus far, but we'll discover more as we go. More hospitable planets anyway. All right. Let's jet, if you will. Out of the planetary system here. We have no reason to go anywhere else in this system, so we're going to go ahead and just go straight to our galaxy map. Now, your first thought process here is that you're going to want to go straight to your rendezvous. But what we do is we recommend that you hold off on that and look for a dissonant system that's nearby. Uh, there's usually one close by over here that will allow you to get another phase of your expedition complete. Another milestone complete. Uh, let's see. A lot of these you're not going to be able to go to, but look for something that says dissonant. There it is. This one will do just fine. Just head to this one next. And we're going to complete one milestone and acquire items that we need beyond that. We need to get three radiant shards, but we also need 100 Atlantidium we'll need that later and it's good to get it now now what you want to do here once you enter the system simply go into this menu here discoveries someone has visited this system at some point and look at your planets you can see you got ancient bones here if you wish to get for that but don't go worry about that just yet wow that is just crazy and then you have this planet here this is our flourishing planet Obviously, you can see by the look of it what it looks like. So that's the planet we're looking for. Um, it's not that one. That one has its back to us. We can't quite see it. And that's the planet we want to go to. So let's head there. It's 
not bad. It's not very far away. Thousand U is a uh, hundred thousand U is not really far away. So once we get there, we'll land. We're just going to need, like I said, we need to find three radiant shards and a hundred Atlantidium, and that's the main thing here. We'll complete yet another milestone. Once that's done, we'll head on to Rendezvous One. Almost there. It's really pushing for us to get to that expedition route, isn't it? But we've already completed an expedition milestone, by the way. By going into hyperspace and leaving the system. You're going to get a packet of seeds, base computer plans, and a planet... Pl pl oh, I can't talk. Planetary chart. You actually don't need any of these. If you really want to set up a base, go ahead and accept the reward for this. But I'm going to ignore it for now. Because uh, the... Uh, Planetary chart is not something you're going to need. Um, this one, though, the inventory slots. Oh, yeah, we're going to be taking that one. Guaranteed. And here we are entering the atmosphere. Uh, okay. I wanted to get through the clouds so I could see. No, I have no idea what this planet is like. I don't think I've been to this one specifically yet. Just head for a landmass. It's not aggressive sentinels, so we shouldn't have to worry too much. Look for large croppings of radiant shards. Just land. We're not going to look for any places to land specifically. Ah, good. This is this has the terrible, terrible uh, storm problems of gravitational anomalies. So that's cool. Switch over to your mining beam, get your radiant shards. We just need three. So one, two, and three. Now the other ones that have things inside of them like that give you Atlantidium. Grab them, because again we need a hundred Atlantidium and you can watch your counter go up. So up to 66, this one should give us the rest. And another 69. That should be it, right? Yep. Okay, we only need 100. And you don't need any more radiant shards unless you're going to be, you know, selling them or something like that. It is up to you. Um, while you're here, it's a pretty nice planet to go ahead and scan for animals and plants. I strongly suggest doing so. Because it is so much easier to find them here. And you don't have anything really bothering you. The storms really aren't terrible at all. Even the attacking plants. Scan them all. You can probably get most of your plants here. And just keep looking around until you find something. See? When you get a question mark, scan it. <laughs> this is incredible. I've never seen so many plants in one place that I could scan. And that's a rock. That looks like a special type of tree. Yep, I haven't scanned that one yet. There's another animal. Nope, not you. There you go, right there. There we go. And looks like we got another creature right there. And the good thing about the storm is it doesn't clear immediately. That is the strangest looking plant I've ever seen. Uh, animal. One of the strangest, anyway. Okay, looks like we get some more birds. Flying creatures, I should say. Look at this. More. How many are on there? Ten on this planet? We just got six animals and within a few mo few moments. Unbelievable. All right, well, this is really good. So let's check our milestones, shall we? So we've completed this one, Call the Void, which gives us some wipe warp hypercore plants. Grab them. Because we need those. That gives us <clears throat> uh, warp cells that'll fill up the entire entirety of your warp drive rather than a little bit at a time. So go ahead and make yourself just a couple of those. You don't need many. There we go. That's why we got a few extra storm crystals. 
but they also give you 10 antimatter. So go ahead and hang on to those. I'm going to move these over into my other inventory too, by the way. Uh, let's pull out the rest of our chromatic metal, because we will probably need it later. And you know what? I think we're going to need more than that. Always go with an even number. Okay, let's take a look around. Uh, we can go in the water and discover more animals if you want, but I think we're doing pretty good. I don't, I don't know what you think, but I think we're doing good. We've more than discovered. We've discovered more than half of our plants thus far. Um, we've walked quite a bit. We should be walking some more and get some more walk points in, if you will. Um, probably a good idea. And we've discovered a third of our creatures. Let's walk to the water and walk back, shall we? It looks like we got another plant here I missed. And how about the palm tree? Have we discovered that yet? No, we haven't. Unbelievable. Unbelievable how many plants we've discovered here thus far. So let's walk to the water. Again, there's nothing dangerous on this planet, so get your steps in while you can. Have I discovered these plants yet? Yep, looks like I've got them all. Grab supplies on the way if you wish. I'm just going to grab this in case I damage myself at all. It'll bring my health up, but it looks like I'm okay. Are these plants that can be discovered? No? Okay. Always keep your eyes open and look for any red dots that are around the periphery. My guess is that the rest of the animals to be discovered are in the water. The funny part is if we can discover all of them on one planet, we will get a nanite bonus for doing so. I uh, shouldn't have done that. Just wanted to get my run juice up to snuff. There we go. It's charging a little slower on this particular run through. Alright, so that looks like a plant. Okay, get out into the water. Take a look. Um, inorganics? Nope, that's not what we're looking for. But that's okay. We're looking for underwater creatures. One. Two. We've got eight species of the ten required for this planet. Unbelievable. I cannot believe how many we've found. So we'll have to remember this for getting more crystal sulfide. This was a very nice planet to land on. I may have to remember this down the road a ways. That's a plant. Okay. Good. We got a good amount of plants here, man. Alright, and as far as underwater creatures are concerned, I think we got about as many as we're going to get today. So I'm not going to worry too, too much about it. With all the creatures that we've found thus far, if you want to, you can do an upload real quick in your menus. Jump all the way back out to upload all. We're at 1332. It only gave us 12. <laughs> So, it really didn't account for much. So, unless unless you can get the nanite bonus. So, if we check our planet in, in question, it'll tell us where the last two can be found. One on the ground, and one underground. So, that's the problem. Finding the underground ones, we'd have to find a cave system. And that, we're not going to spend time doing that today. Alright, let's get back to our ship. Again, we're going to walk it because I, I need to get the steps in. Got to lose a little weight here. And if you hear that flapping noise, that's what you heard in the last one. They're loud flappers. <laughs> Those are the flying little butterflies and stuff. And if you want to, you can get them for pets. It's up to you. I'm not doing the pet thing in this run. And there's no milestone for pets, so... Oh, and if you, if you need carbon, this is a good place to get it, too. Good place to get some carbon. And I do suggest getting at least a little bit extra. Oh, this is a plant I haven't scanned yet. Go figure. Wow. Okay, great. That is great. I think we got ourselves a good amount. Alright. Let's get back.
get back to our ship and we'll head out of the system. Time for Rendezvous 1. Now this episode is going to run a little longer because we're going to get some more things done in here. There we go. Uh, let's see. On to Rendezvous 1. So this will complete out the Phase 1 arc. But you see, we've gotten so many other milestones completed on the way. And that is the purpose behind doing a lot of this. Most folks will do each set of milestones um, within a phase. So you do phase one, you do the eight milestones in there. But the problem is, is there's so many things you need from that system to complete the other milestones. And you might as well get them done. That's usually the way it works. First thing you want to do when you get into this system is not head towards where it's showing you, down there to the, to the rendezvous. Head to this planet or the ancient bones. Now it says it's a Heimel planet, which means cold. The temperature on this planet is not bad. The temperature on this planet is not bad at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to occupy... I can't believe this. we got an archive there and a freighter. The archive is a pain in the neck to land at, I think, most times. But I'm going to see if I can grab a lower platform on the external area here. Not that upper one. Let's go to the one over there. There we go. That way we're closer to the ground. There's no reason to go up into the archive. If you want to check the inventory up there, you can. But there's literally nothing you're going to need. Alright. So it's a cold planet, but if you look at the temperature as it comes up here. Get that off my screen. It's negative 65. If it's just 5 degrees warmer, it wouldn't be considered cold. So keep that in mind. And that's at night in the middle of something. So we got a natural burial site there at 800. Uh, let's take a look around. See if we find another one. Looking for yellow. We got one at 416. I'm going to keep that one marked over here and we're going to come back to it. Meanwhile, I'm going to look for animals and I'm going to scan them because I need more. Okay. And we're going to head to that one. Just not mark it. It'll take a while for that temperature thing to drop, cause you problems. Try to prevent yourself from using your jetpack because this will get your steps in. And try to, you know, undo the running before it has a chance to go red on you. Because it slows you down even more. And check once in a while. See how close you are. As you get close, they'll appear in the ground below you. The terrain is not terrible. Grab things as we go. There we go. Make sure we're still lined up. You don't really need a whole lot. There's only a couple of plants here to discover. That is the good thing about this particular planet, is it only has one plant on it that you can scan. There might be some under under the ground that you can scan as well. There shouldn't have been happening. Why is there a ship that took off from here? Okay, that was a weird occurrence. I'm going to have to go back and review that. Here we go. So it looks like we got a set of four right here. We need a total of eight. So this is great. Let's go ahead and go to our terrain manipulator, widest setting, and just clear out the ground around it. There you go. All right. This one looks like a rare one. The rest look like regular ones. My suggestion is, since you're not going to be selling these anytime soon, although we are at an archive, we can get rid of them a lot quicker. Um, so we got four right now. Um, ooh, animals. Go ahead and scan them. There we go. Alright, any more? Looks like we got one over here. How far away is that? 869, that one's a thousand. Let's go to the 869. And we'll come back. I will, uh, we may not need the other one. And is that the plant? That is not the plant. Let me show you the plant when we get to it. There it is. That's the plant right there. The only plant you need. So if you waited on carbon and, and I blasted it out of existence. Let me switch back over to my mining beam while I'm thinking of it. Blasted it out of existence. As we come across another one, I'll show you what I mean by the, having one plant on a planet like this. As you come across these kind of plants, they are super, super valuable. as far as carbon is concerned. 
There it is, right here. Watch how much carbon you get from one. 600 carbon from one plant. So if you're if you're low on carbon, 400 from that one. I just got a thousand carbon from two plants. The less plants that have carbon on a planet, the more you get out of each plant. Now I see meteors falling, but I haven't been alerted to a meteor storm. I'm gonna use my jetpack here because I need to get over that. Have I scanned you guys? Yes, I have. Still need some sodium, so I'm going to grab it as I go. Always a good habit to be in. Remembered that time. So we've got 351 blocks to go. Now, if you... I said blocks again. Units. If you look at our expedition guide in phase two... You can see we're getting up there. So, let's keep going. You're going to get, like I said, about a thousand inside your freighter. So if you get up to about 7,000, you should be good. We'll run part of the way back to our ship. We won't run the whole way. And you don't have to worry about your ship having full fuel. I'm taking a look around for animals in case there's some I missed. I don't think so. I think we've scanned all the land animals. There's one underground, I believe. And look at this. Life support and your cold. Oh. <laughs> hey, there's a plant I can scan. Excuse you. <clears throat> Hazardous plants count. Oh, look at this. This is a good one. How many pop up? Two. Three. We need one more. We get it? Nope, doesn't look like it, but we'll find out in a second. I thought there was a fourth one or a fifth one here, but I could be wrong. Okay, so here's one. Two. <clears throat> another rare one. And three. Another rare one. Let's get out and just take a look, because we need one more bone. Ooh. That might have been our underground dude. It must be a cave nearby, maybe? Four of six. Fascinating. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, and I don't see any more bones here. Looks like we have a shelter nearby. An unknown building at 500U. We could head that way and hope for the best. Why don't we do that? Let's head that way. Maybe it'll be a trade terminal. So finally, our... Let me mark it, though. I need to make sure I know where I'm going. Hmm, got bones out that way. There's the building. Let's head towards the building first. Let's recharge our hazard protection. I know we're running low on batteries, but that's okay. Life support can be recharged as well. I didn't grab any dioxide yet, but we've got plenty of life support gels, so I'm going to wait for it to get lower before we go anywhere. And tempted on heading out to the natural burial site, but I want to see what was out there. Let's do this. Let's mark it. Because I don't think there's any more around us right now. And we'll head towards the building. Check to make sure we don't have any animals we haven't scanned. And keep going. Ah, good. It looks like a shelter at the very least. Although it looks like somebody might have built a base there. So you got to watch out for that. Even though you're not in multiplayer, you're still going to pick up on other players' bases that have been uploaded into the system. Wait till that charges up, and go. Okay, nope, nope, this isn't one of those. Okay, good. So while we're here, grab our save point. Let's check, because we do need, I believe, a couple more microprocessors. I don't remember, but we're going to grab what we can. Okay, good deal. That should do it. How are we doing stepwise? Let's take a look. We're at 6,200. 
grab some credits. And let's check out the other one and see if there's any nanites on board. There there are. Okay, good. Oh, we got some extra nanites out of that one. That's good. Alright, and we're done here. Any more animals that we haven't discovered yet? We're near caves, so it's always a good idea to double check. But I think we've got everybody discovered. Alright, so how far away is our natural burial site? 900 units. So, shall we head straight there, or shall we fly? We are at... 6,300. This will get us well over the 7,000 range. We need to hit 8. So let's head, let's walk there. And we'll get more steps in. And that's what we'll do. And we'll just watch our life support. As it gets down to about 5%, we'll go ahead and recharge. I don't know if sliding counts. <laughs> you know what we can do? Go in here and select it. And if you look at the bottom right, it should come up down there in just a moment. It's asking us to summon our ship, too. There we go. Now it comes up. So we've just about hit the 7,000 mark. We'll hit about 7,500 this way. Yeah, looks that way. And as soon as we hit the 5% on our life support, we'll go ahead and recharge, like I said. If you use your jetpack, see, it doesn't count towards the steps, so... In mind, use your jetpack sparingly if you can. You only need one more bone. Normally you would have found it in the first two. At least that's what I think. There we go. 7,000 steps so far. So we need 2,000 more. Ooh, whippersnappers. Uh, 2,000 more steps to complete that goal. You are going to be running around the anomaly. And you're going to be running around that derelict ship. So you should get most of what you need from those two. And as soon as we get over here, we're going to go ahead and pull in our ship. Now, the regular bones, since I'm not going to be running back to the archive, the regular bones we've got, we're going to go ahead and delete. Bringing my ship in right over there. It's another reason why you want to make sure your launch fuel is good. Oh, I wish I'd found this one first. Look at all those bones, just to give you a rough idea. Look at them all. Oh, look at that one. That one's a cool one. Let's grab it. Yeah, buddy. That'll be worth some money. And that gets us what we need. The rest we're going to leave. And when you're in your inventory, just check it out real quick. Get rid of these cheap ones. You don't need them, and they're just inventory space ones. Uh, same thing with the relics. But these will sell. At some point. Goodbye. Sell, sell, sell. And sell. Goodbye. And that gives us more inventory space. Um... Atlanta DM we'll put back in our other inventory spot. I don't know what's missing over there. We got plenty of magnetized ferrite, so we're doing good there. Okay, so let's move on, shall we? 7,300 steps we got in. So let's head over to Rendezvous 1. That's for our next phase here. We're done with bones. That gets that milestone achieved. And while you're on your way to Rendezvous 1, let me get lined up real quick. Check your milestones. And you can see that's our next one. We have a new one over here we can get. Uh, Supreme Mining Beam Upgrade and Optical Drill. Not a bad idea to grab it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it. And we're going to go back in here and check Lure the Deep Underwater Construction Plants. We're not as concerned about that. So let's go in here. We'll put in our Mining Beam. I think it goes right there. And Starship. Our other one is right here. Optical drill. Oh, it's already installed. Okay, that's right. You know what we can do? We can uninstall it and install the new one. Then that'll give us that'll give us some um, stuff, if you will. 
gives us uh, like this. It gave us uh, two solar mirrors. That would have been very handy earlier, and two quantum computers. I'll put them in my ship along with the extra wiring looms. That's great. If I had known that, I probably would have done that earlier. Anyway, so there we go, and it's just in time. So you are thinking to yourself, wow, here he is. He's like an hour and 50 minutes into this, and he hasn't even completed phase one yet. We're about to, of course, but we haven't even completed it yet. Well, we'll get there in just a minute. The other thing that we're going to do while we're here is go to a great height. 1600U is what's needed in order to achieve another milestone. So I am going to park up, up there, up there. See that little tongue of a piece of rock? Go up here, but somebody has created a base here, so watch out for it. Just go to the top edge of this, and it's going to give me an annoying problem here. There we go. Now to land. And once you get out... And if you're curious as to how high you are... 1600 feet. Select it, and it'll tell you. I'm at 1525 here. This is a worm planet. Go up to the top of this. Now, if you really want to just achieve the get the achievement without going to a higher hill, what you can do is use your terrain manipulator and use the selection that produces land. And how high are we now? Well, I don't know, but we're about to find out. Um, that's weird. My airburst engine didn't really kick in there. See, that doesn't seem to have wanted to build this up any higher. Usually this works. But it's only building it out laterally. Okay, so let's go ahead and... We wanted to test that theory if it would let us do it, but it apparently doesn't want to let us. So let's go ahead and go to a higher spot. And you can see there's plenty of high spots around here. There's that one. This might even be higher as it is. Let's see if this is high enough. There it is, 1600. I think we just made it at this particular location. So that achieves another milestone. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's get to our rendezvous, shall we? Now the rendezvous for this one is an abandoned building. It's on the other side of the mountain. Oh, look. Look at that. That's some nice stuff nearby. It should be down this slope over here. It's actually pointing at just about the right area, too, I think. I thought it was right here. Now I've got to look for it. See, maybe it's down the slope further. Let me check. And because of this darkness that we have on this side of the planet, it's very difficult to find anything. Okay, doesn't seem to be here. So we're going to go ahead and look. As much as I hate to do that, because this is, to me, ridiculous. And hey, while we're here, let's go ahead and scan, a, scan an animal. Okay. Here's to be about 400 units that way. Make sure your ship's launch thrusters are up to snuff before you leave. And take a look. It's over there. I'm off by just a little bit here. Okay, but while you're at it, let's go ahead and discover plants. More plants. We should be getting to the end of our plant discoveries here.
Let's see. Yep, we got the plants done. Okay. So that takes care of that. And these little rocks looking things here are actually plants. Again, this place is just cold enough to cause you an issue, but not cold enough to be much of a problem. Yep, it's right over here. And there we are. Okay, any more animals we haven't discovered? There was a couple I think we passed on the way. Yeah, there's a few animals up there, but we'll get more as we go, don't worry. There's a ton of them. So one of the things we can do here, that's another worm, um, is we can do the rest of our whispering eggs. And if you kept some of your navigation data, you can pull your ship in. Okay, so we have our mining beam on. Yes, we do. This is pretty easy to do for most people. Some people get freaked out by the horrors that come out of the ground. But all you need to do and keep remembering is just to keep moving. It, that's all you have to do. We need ten more eggs. One. And just get them one at a time as you run around. Two. Three. Three. There's nobody near me. Four. Oh, he's about to attack me. Oh, look out. Five. And if you just keep moving, they can't hit you. Six. And yeah, that one got me with some uh, spit. Seven. Eight. I don't like the music. Nine. And that should be it. There it is. You're done. Ten. So run over here and get in your ship. And they shouldn't be able to attack you anymore. So we're going to check it out in here. Let's see what we got. So in here we got the... We, we have to attempt to do that next. We got the stirring of the nest. We get hazmat gaunts, prepackaged paralysis mortar unit, but the nutrient processor is what we're interested in. Okay. All that we surveyed got us a coolant network, um, hazard protection, and personal force field. We actually can use some of that. What else did we get? Let's see. Life reimagined, 21 plants. Uh, scanning system upgrade. Go ahead and grab it. So we've got all, all, these, all these achievements made, and we just now finished one. We're not going to grab that, of course, like we said. So we finished the independent thing, which gives us a base computer. We're not going to grab it. Um, the inventory slots, we're going to go ahead and grab that. So I need these, and I'm going to put them down here to fill in certain gaps that annoy me. And the next three we're going to put over here. There we go. Okay. And if you want to, you can cl claim your Phase 1 reward, which is the Stealth Paint Customization and Poster Set. We've already got that. I'm going to go ahead and claim it because it doesn't put anything in your inventory. It just tells you that you're getting all that stuff. Alright, so that's complete. So let's go in here and see what goodies we got. We got thermal protection that goes in our exosuit. Um, another thermal protection, which we're never going to use. And a prepackaged paralysis, uh, paralysis unit. So let's go ahead and put this in here and delete it. And I never finished fixing this. Shame on me. Let me fix that. We have the m means to do so. And chromatic metal, yes. Okay, now it looks better. Uh, let's stick you over here in the corner. Okay. All right, so we have nothing to upgrade from here except for this. We'll put that up there. And we are going to go back to our starship. And if you take a look at this, it's just another coolant unit. You can put it in here if you wish. It's up to you. Um, we got two scanning units. So add them to your scanner. Those little horrors are running around out there, aren't they? And see, now you got too many. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one because we don't need it anymore. And there we go. That should do. And we got a couple extra wiring looms. So what are we going to do for all these larval cores, right? Remember, we're about 200 units shy on this. Just grab about half of these. Let's get R. And you see you get 250 nanites from those. And that is how you get that achievement. See, 1600. You're done. 
And if you just want to get them out of your inventory, you can sell them later if you wish, if you need the money for doing so. I'm just going to get them out of my inventory because I don't need them and I don't need the money. Okay. Watch. There it is. We've got another milestone completed. So let's see where we are. We're literally two hours in right now. You've completed all of phase one. You've completed three of the phase two or of phase three, two out of phase four, and three more out of phase five. So let's count them up, shall we? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You've create, you have completed 20 milestones by the end of phase one. That is incredible. We've got 12 more creatures to go. We have anything we can do here, nothing we can do here just yet. Anything we can do here right now? Nope, nothing we can do here yet except go ahead and attempt to raise a signal. So now we get into the nitty gritty of all this. So let's go ahead and get started. And like I said, this is going to last us just a little bit longer. We do have to chart, chart six more waypoints as we go, which we'll get later on. There should be one here if I haven't grabbed it yet. Let me go ahead and grab it. These horrors are still running around. Look at them. They're attacking my ship and trying to bite it. Isn't that hilarious? Absolutely hilarious. We'll let them just sit there and jump at my ship. You know what it is? I think I spent so much time in the uh, milestone menu that it pauses the game. Let's let them finish chewing on the metal. This is absolutely hilarious. I wish I could get a picture of this. I could get a picture of it, but it wouldn't look that great, so... Come on. Come on. Swarm subsiding. That's what we need next. I'll let that go. So knowing that we can go into this menu here and do some stuff too, but we have just a few things to sell if we get somewhere that we need to. We should have enough chromatic metal to finish this out. And there's nothing to install right now. Uh, let's see. Yep, we did use up the gold that we needed, that we had in our inventory. So we've used up some of that in building things. The other thing we can do is the nutrient processor right now. We do have the fecium, but we never got the heptaloid wheat this time around. So we should probably take a look around for heptaloid wheat. I'm thinking we need to look at that at whatever ne our next planet is that we're going to land on, which I think is going to be phase two. This guy, these guys are hilarious. Look at them. They should be done by now. All right, I'm going to get out and I'm going to go look for that. Oh, there it is. Right here. There we go. Got another drop, drop point. See? Can't turn fast. That? Wow, look at the size of that, dude. I'm gonna go ahead and snag him. Wow. He was big. There we go. And since these guys don't want to settle down, we'll just get get lost. <laughs> so we need to locate a hollow terminus. Let's do another scan. We'll see if we can grab another waypoint before we head there. There should be a hollow terminus over here. But it looks like we're going to have to land. Okay, we'll land up here. Okay, to get our hollow terminus, we have to use our signal booster yet again and scan for transmitters. We're going to use one surge battery to do that. We're down to five, and we're going to need those five in just a little bit. Okay, and was just able to finish my coffee. All right, pick this up. Uh, there we go. Go ahead for the signal scanner. Now, the signal scanner, the communication tower, I should say, comms tower, um, will also have a, another uh, thing that we can scan while we're there. Another save point. So, we'll go ahead and do that while we're over there. There it is. And it gives you a nice landing pad to land at. So you can save some of your launch fuel. Let's see, there's our save point, so we can grab that too. Boink. Done. 
Take a quick look around, make sure there's nothing you can scan. You can't scan the big worms. I've tried it many, 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 many times, and it doesn't work. All right, let's go up. Now, I don't know what my jetpack is like. Let me see here. Can I go all the way to the top? No. <laughs> and I'm going to hurt myself here. <laughs> I can get up to the next level up there, so that'll be good. Let me just let it charge. Just made it. Okay, now if you take the ladder, you can also use your jetpack on the ladder. Just go past it a good amount before you land, or else it, it'll think you're trying to climb down. So we need to fix this first. Use sodium ore, sodium nitrate, and go through the dialogue. And I'm going to hold off on the dialogue at this point. Just go through all the things. So always choose number one. There's nothing else to choose anyway. And you're going to finally boost your signal, and you're going to pick up an anomaly in purple. So we're going to go ahead and grab that anomaly, and that is main, mainly telling us to go pull in the space anomaly. Boink. Hey, did we scan you guys? We did. Okay. Let's go ahead and get going. All right. So we're on our own. We're on our way out of here. This is the end of this planet. We don't need to go here anymore. So we're going to go out into the stars, like it tells us, and we're going to do a more comprehensive run through at this point by going through the phases themselves, because we've got most of the miscellaneous things done that we could get done. Now, if you have a chance to explore the anomaly, I suggest just running around real quick. The only NPC you're going to find in here is Nada, and Nada is going to be non-responsive. He's shut down. He's just a machine in a corner. That's all he is. There is no other NPCs here at all. And like I said, you're going to get your steps in, okay? So go ahead and do them. And you are, you have a purpose here. You are going through this whole station because you have an area of the station you got to get to. And that's in the back corner. So just keep going. Don't bother going to the merchant's area. There's nothing to buy there. You want to head to the prime terminal, which is in the back. And if you know the Artemis missions, this is where you usually deposit Artemis if you decide to hold his life uh, in the computer. So here we go, prime terminal. I'm going to leave him up there for just a second. Everything is dead. Everything's dead. It's just a machine. We're going to request access. And you notice it mentions something about a mind arc. Okay? So you're getting the plans for the mind arc, right? What does it need? Atlanta DM. That is why you stopped at the dis dissident planet to get the Atlanta DM. It is also why you kept the hypnotic eye. Because you need it for this as well as 64 activated copper. And that's why we also didn't use up all of our activated copper. So there you go. So, you can go straight into your inventory and make a mind arc right away. Now, you see we're really low on activated copper. I almost used it up. I couldn't remember quite how much we needed. But there we are. Go back into the prime terminal. Otherwise, you'd have to leave and go get these things. No, no idea, right? Connect the mind arc. The mind arc is going to give us a bunch of numbers. And it's actually downloading something. But you notice it says population decrement fleet. Which means that... It, it means it had deleted all the people in the galaxy except the boundary coordinates and that's our next step so now we have to go back to the planet or any planet really that it tells us to go to so go ahead and get your steps in this guy must be in really good shape by now right I had one save where uh, the not only did the run last longer, but it recharged really quick. And I was so happy to have that. It made things so much easier for a playthrough. But I don't have it in this one, so we'll just have to live with it. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and head out of here. So, signal trace, we got to find our boundary portal. So if you take a look in here, phase two, we've completed this. You get some more batteries, I suggest getting them. The, the, the cloaking device unit is not necessary, but we need to go beyond because we need to complete this. So let's get our batteries. And just to take a look, there's the advanced ion batteries. They are for your ship in case you need them, but you have a, your five surge batteries. Make sure you have five. If you don't, make, make more. Okay, 
let's move on. So we need to go to the boundary portal. It should be leading us. You see it's pointing up uh, to this planet right there. We got a little ways to go. Get an idea of how far. Yep, yeah, 1500. Now keeping in mind, aggressive sentinels is what it's telling us here. Try not to spend too much time on the planet. And our pulse juice is getting a little low. Let's go ahead and increase that real quick. We're going to use tritium. We don't have any pyrite, but we have plenty of tritium, so it should be good. Is there anything else that needs charging? Let's check. Hyperdrive's doing pretty good. We've only jumped the one time. Landing is looking pretty good as well. Let's look at our exosuit. Good time to do this. Life support's still at 65%. Um, this gives 40% life support up uh, boosts, but some of the uh, foods that you get can actually increase that quicker. You're going to be getting rid of this soon, so don't worry about it. Actually, there. And I'll put the activated copper up there so we can keep these going. There we go. Down we go. Sometimes you bounce off the atmosphere rather than entering it, so just keep that in mind. Now, I like to boost... My engine's a little bit, just to give myself a little more oomph to get where I'm going quicker. Most people don't do that. I do. There is no... There is nothing here to acquire. There are no landing points, save points, none of that. So just go ahead and land. Get your business done. If you want to discover some animals, it's up to you. But keep in mind, like I said, that there are aggressive sentinels here. And they will attack. Uh, those guys are too far away to go searching for them. So we've got a couple more animals. That's good. Well, let's go to the portal. We're going to hook up our mind arc. And it's going to go through a series of information and tell us that it is perfectly notched for it and everything like that. So that's fine. Calls to me. We activate. And you're done. Go through the portal. Enjoy the cinematics from this point. You all are probably familiar with going through portals in No Man's Sky, and this is what it looks like. But usually you go through a portal and you end up somewhere specific, right? Another planet. This is one of those few times when you don't. You remember in the Artemis mission storyline, you end up here. In space. Yep, and he's just swimming around. The thing is, your life support isn't affected, so feel free to swim around if you like. It looks funny just swimming in space. It's perfectly fine. It is absolutely beautiful. This is one of the reasons why I love No Man's Sky is how the attention to detail. Absolutely fantastic. Mind Dark is freed. And don't do anything else. Don't go into your menus or else it'll take longer. Wait for the crackling and you're gonna teleport one more time. And this time you'll be deposited on a planet. So, that's perfectly fine. So we just give it a few extra moments and we'll be there. Any time now. Yep, sooner or later. Any time. There we go. Okay. Now, I warn you, this is the same planet, and it has, as you can see... Uh, let me see, where is it? It's not telling you. There are aggressive sentinels on this planet, so don't spend too much time... Not aggressive sentinels, pardon me. Aggressive animals on this planet. So, scan your animals by all means. That's perfectly fine. Um, but you will have trouble with animals attacking you fairly soon. I usually try to get a few while I'm here. There is an unknown building nearby if you want to try to get another drop point. It's up to you. Um, your ship is crashed over there, but it is it is not damaged in any way. So, my suggestion is to go towards the buildings and try to get a couple extra drop points. I'm going to go to this one first. Again, just watch out for your... Yeah, there's the critter. And you can scan them, by the way. You haven't already. There's another one in the air. Wormy type guys. That might be the guy that tried to attack me. That's. Let me try it again. 
Still getting the inorganic objects instead. All right, let's just head over to the... Where did I see it? Over there. And then we'll head back to the other one to get our steps in. Just wanted to get past the bad terrain. All right, so this is not going to help us. This is a another place. Scan them, and then leave. Because <laughs> they do hurt. Oh, good. Got our 9,000. All right, so I'm going to use my jetpack a lot more now. And we're going to head over here. Use the blue flowers as we go. And we'll pull in our ship over here. So a lot of people will make their way to the ship on their own. And that's fine. You can do that. Um, there we go. Pull your ship in. And if you have a few moments, check some things out. Maybe you get some nice upgrades or something like that. Or a few extra nanites. Okay. We're back on our ship. We've got a few extra nanites and we're on our way. So let's see what we've done. We don't need to spend any more time on the planet. So phase one complete. Phase two, we just have to re this, reach the second rendezvous. Do we need this? We need this. We need the specialized warp blueprints. We get those. And we will need them. Second thing we're going to need, let me see here. You can get the scatter blaster stuff if you wish. I don't need it at this point, but we will need the upgrades from this. And I think that's it, right? Uh, we don't need that. And we don't need that. Did we collect that? No. Okay, we didn't. Okay, yeah. So we're just going to go here. I don't need that right now. So while I'm going in uh, slowly meandering out into space, I'm going to build, I'd love to build this, but I don't have any emerald. So we're going to build the cadmium drive. That's the reason why we were doing those upgrades earlier, is to save the cadmium. So we're going to put this in with our four wiring looms, and that gives us an upgrade in here. So we need one more. We need the S-Class, because that's the only place we're going to find robotic animals, is with the indium drive. Okay? And we'll get those later. So we're going to head to Rendezvous 2 now. And that is straight out this way. We're not going to meander one way or the other. Now once we get number two done and possibly number three, we're going to go ahead and call this episode complete. And then we'll do one more episode to finish the whole arc out. So this will be a three-part series is what this is going to end up being, as I thought it would from the beginning. Okay, we should be approaching any second. There we go. Okay. You can stop the space station if you wish. There's no reason to do so. There are no extra planets to go to here. So just go ahead and head straight. Now, if you haven't done the underwater one yet, I don't think we have. Let me check. Sunken freighter. Yep, it's time to visit a sunken freighter. But to do that, we have to complete our four more waypoints. So that was the reason for getting 12 way waypoints, is so you can get your Nautilus drive. So why don't we do that real quick? The, pl the planet to our right is a good planet to do that at. And we're going to hit it on the way. So as we get past it here just a little bit... See, we're going to look for landmass. That's what we're looking for. Head straight to that planet, and let's go find four waypoints real quick. Just approach. Again, I like to boost my engines a little bit. There we go. It looks like there's a building right there. We'll use the landing pad for that. And you can see that the place we need to go to is to the left. There you go. Over here. We don't need to get our steps in anymore. Yay! Okay, good. That's one waypoint. And take a look at your horizon. Before we get started, how many animals do we have? Let me see here. It's five, I think. Okay, we got 27. We just need five more animals. Now, here's the thing. You're going to get three more with the robotic animals, so get what you want. This place has the dinosaurs, or duplos as we call them, so we'll go ahead and grab it. Nothing on this planet will attack you, so that's two. I don't really need any more animals at this point, so 
don't waste your time getting any more. If you've got the 29 required, you're just going to get three more anyway. So don't just hold off on that. So now that we go down here, we're going to go visiting the site of a crashed ship, but we've got to get more waypoints. So let's take a look around, see if we find anything. We also need heptaloid wheat. This may be a good place to get it. Let me check. A lot of star bramble around here. Since it's more of a tropical planet, it shouldn't hurt us too much. That is our minor settlement we're at right now. So we're going to take advantage of the minor settlement. You know, the temperature's really good, and we don't have a dangerous planet at all. Uh, yeah, let's go around this. Oh, the other way? Go around the other way? Yeah. And let's just get rid of some inventory space real quick. Uh, where'd it go? There you are. There we go. All gone. Okay. And we can look to see if there's anything in the inventory we can get, but there's nothing we're going to need right now. All right, let's take a look. Uh, let's see. That? Impulse beans. Okay, if they got impulse beans, they're going to have other stuff. And you can get the rest of your, um, whispering eggs, if you wish, from here, too. All right, let's take a light and take another look, because we need to find our points that we're going to. Take a look at this way. There's one right there. They're normally pretty close by each other this at this point. And again, we need to find heptaloid weed, so as you're flying, if you see any, grab it. Note it and go grab it, I should say. We don't want to just land and grab heptaloid weed. There we go, got another point. Let's take a look around again. We already got all of our plants. Are there literally no plants anywhere near here except the star? Star bulbs? Interesting. Fascinating. Okay, let's move on. Do, 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 do. Scan. Scan. There's another one right there. So far, this has turned out to be a very nice planet to do this from. Star Bramble, of course, again. Let me take a look around before we grab our... That looks like Star Bramble, too. Subterranean. What are you? Star Bramble? Impulse. Star Bramble. Let's head towards the Impulse Beans, and we'll take a look in a minute. And if you look at this guy, I'm going to go ahead and scan him anyway, just so you know. It's aggressive. Okay. Will he attack us? I don't know. Let me see. We're going to get a little closer. Nope. He will not. He's after other, other animals. So we're good there. Alright, we got one more drop point to go after, and then we're going to look for the heptoblick wheat. Scan. And we'll take a look. Okay, let's go down here. Nothing yet. The servers seem to be lagging a little bit. I don't know why. It might be because there's a lot of people playing this expedition right now. So if you see a little jerkiness to the video, it literally, it's nothing to do with my internet connection. There we go. Looks like we found it. This should be the last one. And there we go. That should give us our achievement. There we go. 12 waypoints. Before we go any further, real quick, I am going to go in here and make sure you're up to snuff. And let's accept our... This one. Signs to nowhere. So there's our Nautilin. Now to get the Nautilin, if I can get all this stuff off my screen, to make the Nautilin, we need... 5 metal plates, 4 crystal sulfides, and 100 salt. We have the crystal sulfides on our inventory, so make sure you keep... Not in your starship, but in your exosuit, five metal plates. There we go. Okay, we're all set. You're not going to need that, but that's okay. It's good to have it. I um, think that's pretty much it. So let's go take a look around. Sweet root. We need the wheat. We needs the wheats. 
Pulpy. Captaloid wheat. Guess what? We found it. Son of a gun. Happened to be right near where we are. That is fabulous. Let's head up the hill and grab it. Well, these diplos are fantastic. I love them. Lloyd Weed it is. Let's head back to the ship now. Now we do need to head towards the water, which we'll do that in just a minute. So we're going to leave a souvenir behind of the nutrient processor. Uh, we need one more... We need two more, pardon me, two more metal plates for this. And we need a, a hermetic seal. So let's go ahead and do that now. Alright, two metal plates because we would have used them up anyway. Alright, so we need to make some food. This is another milestone. This is the reason we got the fecium. It makes yeast. And then we're going to use the heptaloid wheat. We only need to make one. Stop. Okay, put the flour back in and add your yeast back in. What does flour and yeast get you? Dough. What does dough give you? But bread. Once you're done with the bread, you're done. And you never need this nutrient processor again. So another milestone completed. Excellent. Okay, let's head towards water. A lot of dinos around. Straight ahead looks like a good option for us. Yeah, let's go right over here. This looks good little island right there. I like that. Okay. Out of our ship. So, we're going to go ahead and put down the Nautilin chamber. It needs to be under a decent amount of water. Wow, this is really, really deep right here. Holy mackerel. I've never seen a drop off that fast before. Uh, just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Head into your ship. You can go ahead and get rid of the base if you want and collect your resources back. Go into your ship. And you could go into the menu and you need to, pardon me, you need to go into the tab menu here and create your high power sonar. That's the reason for the solar mirrors. You could create them at this point and you should have enough resources to do so. But because I undid one of my items that I had in my inventory, it gave me the solar mirrors I needed. So we're all done here. All you need to do is scan now using the high power and look for crash traders. And second wreck detected. Let's get out of our ship. And head back to our ship. Okay, get out of our exocraft and head back to our ship. And we're on our way. So we'll get our sunken freighter out of the way. This is a great planet to do it on. Again, there's very little in the way of uh, storms on this planet. I don't think I've ever been here where there was a storm. We just go up a little bit. Ah, good. We got sunrise as well. Gonna help us. So as we get to the upper atmosphere, we should go a little quicker. There we go. And two ways we can do this. We can land on the island next to it or land on the structure itself. Can't see it yet, but as it pops into play. There we go, see? I'm gonna just gonna land on the island. The island is just as close. There we go. Let everything catch up. There we go. Out into the water and kaplook. Straight down. Just head for this and go through the dialogue. And again, I'll leave it up to you to go through all the dialogue at some point. And I'm just going to go through it real quick. We're not going to read it. This is not story mode. This is just how we do the expedition. And then just went back to your uh, ship. So you've completed yet another milestone. Now again, we are completing these out of order. But that's okay. Okay, here we go. So as we take off, we're going to head towards our rendezvous. You just get lined up with it. And even though you're in atmosphere, if you line up just right with it, it should allow you to do it. Normally it does. Let me go ahead and get a little further along. There we go. We're all set. And we're on our way. And 
once we're out a little bit, let's go ahead and check it out now. So one again is complete. Two is nearly complete. We're just going to get this one done. Three is also nearly complete. We just have to drift, and we can do that as soon as we leave this next planet. Getting three life forms, we're going to wait on that until we get towards four. So we're going to go to rendezvous three, and then we're going to head over to four. And as we're heading towards four, we're going to complete it. Uh, we, we still have to do five ancient ruins. We can do it on... You know, I'm beginning to think I should have done it on the last planet because that last planet is a really nice planet to do it on. So that might be something we're going to think about as we head over here. Because I think it's a paradise planet, if I'm not mistaken. It, you know, the lack of weather is always a good thing. So let's head over here to this rendezvous and complete this out. And we're just about an hour and a half right now. As we come in on this rendezvous, here we go. And boom, atmosphere. Now this one is kind of fun to find. Um, if I'm, it's down the, don't go towards the mountains. Go to this plateau over here, this uh, uh, gap between the mountains, and look for a landing platform. This one I remember. There it is. It's an abandoned landing platform and you can sell any other wares that you have in your inventory that you just want to get rid of here it's up to you uh, you don't need any more of the wheat you can go ahead and get rid of it and I don't need that anymore so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it okay out we go just head into the structure or towards it once you enter it it should give you the achievement achievements been gotten but it's not telling us that so if you look at number two, you can see we've completed it. So what does this give us? Starship inventory. Let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to go ahead and add this in. I'm going to fill these two in real quick. And then I'm going to put one down here. Probably this gap over here. Okay. Good deal. And anything else we want to do here while we're at it. So phase two. I'm going to go ahead and just get it because it's just base parts. They're not going to appear in your inventory. It's just blueprints. So two is now complete, and we're on to three. We need to do this for next, so let's go ahead and get that done. We're almost done with this episode. Um, let me see, where is our other planet at? All right, let's head up. Best way to look for another planet is to check your radar. So there's the planet we just went to. And where is the planet that we were at? That was the one we were at. It says it's a swamp planet. That can't be it. Let's go down over here. There it is. That's the planet we were at. Temperate planet. So that's what we're going to head towards um, next. So let's go ahead and get back into this view. So to do this one, approach the void to begin your dream. Let your mind drift to the stars as you slip through space-time. So it's telling me to hold down the space key, which is my pulse drive. This should look familiar to us at this point. And then at some point it's going to tell us to come out of this and to hit your S button. Maybe different on the controller you're using or on the system you're using. There you go. Storm's going to appear in front of us. And you can go through all of this if you wish. Again, do this on your own. I'm just going to go through it and it's going to go into dream state. Three of those, and you're done. And that's it. You've completed another milestone. So, next thing I need to do here is I normally need to go to... Normally I need to go to Rendezvous 3 at this point. I'm not going to get these yet, but I'm going to do one more thing. I need to get the five ancient ruins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to this planet. Because we know that this was a really nice planet. So, it's always a bonus to use a good planet for finding your ancient ruins. So, as long as you have that selected in your milestones, that milestone selected, your signal unit will give you what you need. I don't believe this. I found another archive. That's okay. Let's just go ahead and land. It really doesn't make a difference where we land this time. Unbelievable. These are the cool ones, too. 
you ask me. I love these. They're my favorite. Okay. Signal booster. Drop it. We need five. Scan for ruins. You don't need to look for any buried treasures or anything like that. That's a waste of time. Don't bother. Just get knowledge. Move on. So we found what looks like it's going to be a plaque. <clears throat> Correct? Yes? Do it a second time, because sometimes it'll scan for a second one. No, it's not going to work this time. So we'll come back. Sometimes it'll work and it'll find a second type of building. And this one, ooh, it's close by too, so that's a bonus. Eh. Okay, it's moving me forward while it lands. Nice. And we land right next to it. Just turn around and hit it. Okay, again, you can go through all this. This is the usual message you get about the first spawn. Seek language. It's quicker. Okay, you're done. Put your signal booster down and search for the next one. Okay, looks like it found the same one. Or another plaque, if you will. So, rather than do that, let me just do this real quick and see if it'll work for us for once. Nope, it's still going to tell us it can't find anything. Occasionally it'll find the second one, and that way you can just get two done at once. And it's basically just an ancient ruin at that point. This one's also really close by. Boy, did I get lucky. Alright, so now we know to do this on this planet. I will do this in the future. Charge your launch fuel when you have a chance. Okay, we're going to go through the dialogue real fast. Get through this. Language. Done. So that's two. Let's get our signal booster down. Search for another one. It'll probably find another plaque since it seems to be locked in on those at the moment. There we go. That one's over there. And we're going to do one more time just to see. Ah, good. It found a fourth one. In the opposite direction, it looks like. This will be ruins. See? You can tell by the shape of the artifact it found. Those are the only two it finds. Blacks and the ruins. So we've got two more discovered. So let's go ahead and grab our ship. And I think we're going to go to the plaque first because I have a funny feeling it's closer. 25 minutes away. 20 minutes away. Oh. How far are you? About the same. Alright, so let's go to the plaque. And because it's so far away, we're going to actually pulse drive to it. There we go. And we need to find one more location, right? So we'll try the scanner one more time when we leave here. Good, we're on the correct side. Okay. Another theory we have about the servers, by the way, is why things are so glitchy, as you see, and laggy is because... Nope, can't do it. Okay. So we'll have to wait until we get to the next location. Is that the... We think a lot of people have been putting down bases. We can't see them because that's the whole point behind this particular expedition is that you can't do multiplayer. But if a lot of people put down bases and upload them, they tend to clog the servers. And it's trying to render in all these bases that people are making. So it makes it very, very difficult. Now, hopefully in about a week or so, they'll clean it up. And we'll be able to see everything again. And we'll be a little less laggy. We'll see what happens. Okay, there we go. This is a time-consuming one. Like the derelict freighter. That you get in space. 
Okay, we'll go ahead and do this one. Same thing, just gives us information. Seek help with knowledge passed. One more time with the signal booster. And this will be our last thing. It's probably going to find us another ancient ruin since that's what it was focused on. Nope, flak this time. Prove me wrong. And there we go. And we're done. We will need one more surge battery at one point, so make sure you get one more. You need a total of about eight of them. So make sure you create eight surge batteries. I failed to create my last one, so... Space. If I can get my ship up there, anyway. Okay. And this will be the last one we have to get. As we come in for a landing, I'm going to make another surge battery. Hopefully I have the resources for it. I think I do. Alright, so we need a surge battery, right? Right here. Sodium nitrate gold. That's what you needed the gold for. And eh, magnetized ferrite. There we go. I just need one more. We'll use it later and you'll see why. Okay, last one. Again, no storms. This has been a great place to go. And we're done. That should get us our achievement right about... Hang on. There it is. Okay. So we're done with that. So where are we here? So phase one, phase two is complete. Phase three now just has to get this. And we can go on to rendezvous three. So that's where our next phase is going. We're going to rendezvous three. Uh, we do have to do a derelict fre freighter, which we can do in this system or not. It's up to you. But one of these gives you a... Hold on a second here... There it is, Emergency Signal Scanner. And it gives you a Starship class upgrade, so go ahead and grab that. So, one, two, three, four, five. And our Starship is now a B class. So, very, very nice. Out we go. So, we can do the Derelict Freighter now or later, but I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. And we'll do it later. Okay, so Derelict Freighter will be coming in next. Right now, we're going to head on to Rendezvous 3, and that's where we're going to end our episode at this point. So, off we go. There is one more thing we're going to need to do on our way to Rendezvous 3, now that I think about it, and we need to hit a green world. There's so much glow in that area, it's hard to see any of the planets. So let's head for... Looks like that's one can't tell. I'm going to try to go to the outside a little bit. Looks like we got one there. I can't tell if that's green or not. Let's go to the one that we know is green. Where is our ship at? There we go. So we know, I believe that's a green world right there. So let's head to this one. And we're going to collect 250 emerald. This is not a milestone that we're completing with this. We just need Emerald in order to get by. Now, if you're fortunate enough, sometimes you can get an upgrade once in a while that'll give you some Emerald, and you can just duplicate it with some chromatic metal. But we're not there. Just turn around and go to your closest planet, whatever your closest planet is. Usually it'll have Emerald as long as it's not activated. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Just head to the planet, look for something green on the surface. It's either going to be emerald or ammonia, but usually it'll be emerald. You can use the, the crashed freighter there if you wish. Looks like we got some emerald literally right there. I am going to choose to land next to it. Let's see if it is. It is emerald. Good. Uh, terrain manipulator in the small mode. Again, we need 250. It's a very big deposit, so this is good. So we be able, we, ought, we ought to get it. You know what? Because it's so big, I'm going to go up in size and gather as much as I can quickly. There we go. We've reached it. 
We're done. Why did we need it? That is for our starship. So if we go in here, we're going to make our indium drive. That's what we needed it for. And now we have what we need. And we'll be able to find our robotic animals. So let's end at Rendezvous 3, like I said. Let's head up and out. And here we go. Last rendezvous. There it is. And we should be able to go straight there. And there's literally no more to do here. So rendezvous three, I believe... I don't think it's an abandoned building. No, it might be. It might be an abandoned building. Two is the landing platform. One is an abandoned building. There's usually at least one more abandoned building here. Okay. There it is. It's going to guide us to where we need to go. And Hello Games has this wonderful, wonderful thing of wanting to give you a rendezvous at the furthest building away from everything. So, being that we have this here, I'm going to move these over to here. And see if I can get a little bit of a boost out of them by putting them into the supercharged slots. Or maybe... And I'll build out this way when we get upgrades. So, oh, we've got food. Let me move that into my other inventory. Yeah, we'll leave that there. Okay. And see if it gives us just a little bit of a uh, boost to getting someplace a little quicker here. Plus, it'll probably use more, it'll be more efficient and use less fuel. Okay, 10 seconds to landing. We've completed so much in this run. So, just keep that in mind. These mountainous terrains are the bane of your existence, as is mine. Now, if I remember correctly... Don't bother trying to get to people's landing platforms. It is on the side of a mountain, if I remember correctly. And it disappears at some point, so... You have that wonderful, wonderful uh, process here of being left completely alone, so you have to find it. And I want to say it's halfway up on a mountain, if I remember correctly. With your eyes, you can look for a whole bunch of com balls, because people put those down like water. Okay, so we're going to land right here. I want to say it was across the way. Yeah, wait a minute. Something's coming back to me. There it is. It's right over here. And you know what? Let's give ourselves a moment to look at what the coordinates are, shall we? So let's look through our visor real quick and see what our coordinates are here. So it looks like positive 75, negative 179. I'll remember that. Okay, and it looks like we've got it. So let's head over here, just walk over towards the building. There's your rendezvous. So that is gonna complete it for us for now. Let's take a quick look at how much we've done. One is completed, two is completed, three is nearly completed, we'll do this next time. Four is near completion as well. We do have to do the derelict freighter, which will take a good portion of time and then five only has a few more to go and we'll complete this real quick in two shots so that'll be it so the third part of this episode is going to be really really short so hopefully you'll you've enjoyed this please hit the like button and if you like what you've been seeing please hit the subscribe button again i want to thank you very much for being here and we'll see you in the next episode take care everybody